Hello grade 6! Welcome back to my channel! It's me, Ma'am Ang! For today, ay meron na naman tayo panibagong lesson tungkol sa ating Science 6, Quarter 4, Week 2. But before we start, um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will update it if I have a new upload videos! For uh, today's lesson about disaster preparedness on earthquake and volcanic eruption. Ito po ay continuation ng ating week 1 about sa uh, changes due to earthquakes and volcanic eruption. And at the end of our lesson, you should be able to enumerate what to do before, during, and after earthquake and volcanic eruption. So our content about the forces and effect changes of Earth's surface and the effects of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. In the previous lesson, you have learned that earthquakes and volcanic eruption can greatly affect changes on the Earth's surface. You have learned that these changes affect the people, animals, and plants in many ways. So this time, you will learn the different ways or emergency preparedness that you must be do before, during, and after the earthquakes and volcanic eruption. Have you ever experienced and or joined an earthquake drill? What did you do? Now, share what you have performed from that drill to avoid accident caused by unforeseen events. If it is always wise to be prepared in order to be ready to be secured and safe. Our country is susceptible to different disasters such as earthquake and therefore it is a must for us to prepare and ensure our safety. So these are several things we can do before, during and after an earthquake. This includes the following. So that's it. And parang uh, every quarter na may meron tayong earthquake drill sa everything school. But this pandemic, hindi natin siya nagagawa. Pero meron naman uh, online <laughs> online uh, earthquake drill. Kasi meron pinapasa picture na nag-participate na pa rin tayo sa earthquake drill sa si school. So, bakit ginagawa ng ating um, government and lalo na sa DRRM? Bakit pinapagawa na sa atin to? Kasi ang isa sa mga uh, pangunahing dahilan dahil nga ay ang Philippines ay nasa uh, meron mga maraming fault, fault lines na nagka, yun ang dahilan na magpapapar tayo and then kasama tayo sa the big one. So yun po, yung sinasabi nilang the big one yung sobrang lakas na lindol. So, ano-ano daw ang mga dapat natin gawin bago, uh, habang, at pagkatapos ng lindol. So, palaan kung nag-face-to-face pa tayo, meron kayong mga role-playing, yung mga dula-dulaan about this activity. So, this include the following before an earthquake. Ano yung mga dapat gawin natin? So, it is essential for individuals families, organi organizations, and communities to know the risk, make a plan, prepare a disaster kit, and remove, and remove, relocate, or secure anything that may drop and hurt someone. Block and exit, fall and start a line. So in our week 1, naalala nyo po na may pinapagawa kayo ng plan. Disaster uh, emergency plan and then na na yung pinapasend sa inyo yung emergency kit. Lalo na kapag naka-experience kayo ng sobrang lakas ng lindol. So, parang tayo ay nadadala na. So, kailangan natin uh, every time, hindi naman kasi natin ma-prepare de kung kailan uh, darating yung lindol na malalakas na lindol na yan. So, as what I said in our week 1, wala talagang, uh, wala pang uh, instrument or any na develop na mga mga tools na makapredict na merong malaking lindol na magaganap. So, wala talaga in just one ganon, lindol, lindol lang siya. So, kailangan natin i-prepare. Ito yung mga gagawin natin bago ang mga lindol. You have to prepare your plan, you prepare disaster kit, and kailangan ninyong 
may yung bahay nyo, yung mga 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 cabinet and everything na mga sobrang yung mga delikado na bumagsak sa inyo. So kailangan niyo nang unti-untiin yun na yung iwawala. Tapos kailangan niyo kay meron kayong mga uh, exit doors for sa mga ganyang pangyayari emergency doors. So ito naman yung during during an earthquake. So drop to the ground, take cover by getting under a top table and or the other piece of the furniture and hold on until the shaking stops. If there is no table or desk near you, cover your face and head with your arms and go so do not run out of the buildings during the shaking as objects may fall off or may cause serious damages or death. So ito na mga kadalasan nating ginagawa kapag meron tayo mga earthquake drill. Kapag may rindol, dapa. Takpa ng ulo, ng books or anything, bags. Pero huwag kayong gagalaw habang nagsishaking pa. Hanap kayo ng table na sobrang sa tingin nyo ay uh, hanap kayo ng mga top, tough table na hindi siya kayang ma, hindi basta-basta kayang masira. And then, yun, dun muna kayo. Hintayin nyo ang bago ay hintayin yung huminto yung lindol. Tsaka lang kayo aalis dun sa building. Okay? So, yun po. Yan naman din talaga ang kalalasan natin ginagawa kapag meron tayong earthquake drill. After an earthquake, ano yung mga ginagawa natin? So, safely evacuate uh, the area. Be reminded that the aftershocks may happen. Lalo na kapag sobrang lakas yung lindol, mga mag uh, magnitude 7, 8, mga ganon. Huwag mo nang basta-bastang mag uh, umuwi sa bahay. Kasi may mga aftershocks. So, these additional shaking events can be strong enough to do additional damage to already weakened structures can cause and can occur in the first hour, days, weeks, or even months after the main earthquake. So, yun po. Kailangan talagang mag-vacuate sa safe na lugar. And then, yun. Intayin natin, abisuhan tayo ng ating government na pwede na bumalik. So, yun. So, for more, inf uh, for more information, read and analyze the poster below. Ito yan, marami natin yung makikita sa mga Facebook, na, uh, Facebook page ng ating DRM, sa school, sa, um, sa, ano pa ba, sa mga municipality, province, and then sa national. Ito, Palagi natin niya, kaya hindi na natin kailangan pang i-explain. A volcano shows sign of possible eruption, like uh, earthquake, increasing emission of steam, and tumbling sounds. So, therefore, it is uh, possible to make precautions for safety before, during, and after a volcanic eruption. So, sa mga taga Batangas dyan, and sa mga Karatig Bayan, I know na experience nyo na to, and then, hindi, kung meron mong taga, taga doon na nanonood, so, we feel the um, trauma. And, so, yun po, yung bago pa naman, sumabog yung vulkan, lalo na dito sa Taal. I-example ko lang. Bago siya sumabog, kaya malabas pa siya ng mga usok, then, may meron na rin yan mga lindol-lindol in nearby places, and then, may na tumutunog-tunog na sa ilalim. So, yun po. So, meron po tayo precautions for safety before, during, and after of a volcanic eruption. So, ano na yung mga gagawin natin before volcanic eruption? So, be aware of any unusual volcanic activity. Uh, listen to the radio or, or to people of authorized for safety instruction prepared For safety instructions, prepared emergency supplies like flashlight, candles, matches, and first aid kit. Some uh, stock some food and water and evacuate if necessary. Be ready with your face mask to protect the nose and mouth from ashfall and smog. Yan na po. Makikinig tayo sa ating, lalo na sa mga, ano, sa mayor, mga announcement. Then, prepare nyo na yung mga flashlight nyo kasi... Uh, yun ang dahilan kapag nungawala tayo ng kuryente 
and then yung dala kayo ng mga food, damit, mga ganun, and lalo na yung face mask kasi magkakaroon yan ng um, ash fall. Yan na yung after natin. So, during a volcanic erupt during a volcanic eruption, stay indoors. Cover your nose with mask or a damp cloth, uh, yung medyo wet yung cloth. And when volcanic ash or dust is present in the air, keep your food and water covered. So, kapag meron ng ganitong mga ashes na talagang talaga may takip lahat ng mga ano nyo sa food kasi in case of ano, hindi, wala siyang ano kasi yung ash is me, nakaka poison din siya. Stay away from low places before rocks, lava, and mud flows are likely to flow towards low-lying area. So, lumayo-layo na tayo niya kasi after sumabog, may magkakaroon ng lahar. So, stay in the evacuation center and wait for further announcements if it is safe to go back to your house while the volcano is erupting. Parang nakakaano siyang i- lesson kasi na na experience natin to eh Lalo, kahit na nandito kami sa Cavite random naman namin yung nangyayari sa Batangas yun po antayin natin nabisuhan tayo ng ating mga mayors na ba, huwag mo nang yung sabi nila ay huwag mo na kayong bumalik huwag mo nang kayong bumalik kasi delikado pa okay then after volcanic eruption after the eruption do not go back home right away Wait for instruction or when it is safe to return home. Avoid crossing a bridge when lava flows under it. Remove ash from your roofs and check if your drinking water is clear and its electrical wires at homes are intact and safe. So, yan. Kailangan talaga tanggalin. Lalo na yung sa ash dun sa ating mga bubong. Kasi nakakasira din siya ng bubong. Kasi chemicals yun, sulfur and everything. So, yun. Ang uh, iwasan kayo tumawid sa tulay baka merong mga asa, uh, mga ano dun lahar and i-check niyo maigi yung tubig niyo kung ito ba ay safe na inumin and then yung mga electrical wirings na naiwanan niyo dun sa bahay. That's it. Okay, in our learning test 1, create a th uh, table for the things or plans you should do before during and after of an earthquake, a uh, volcanic eruption. So, do this in your activity sheet. Yan po. You must copy the table. In our learning test 2, uh, list some safety tips to protect yourself against the harmful effects of earthquake and volcanic. So, sa sarili mo lang yan ha. Kung ano yung safety health tips. Yan po. Copy the table. In our learning test 3, perform the activity. Do this in your answer sheet and our activity title a bookmark on safety. And our materials are cartolina, pencil, marker, and crayon. So you should follow the procedures to make the bookmark. In our learning test 3, below are, below are the things you need to do in case of an earthquake. Check the corresponding column if the statement tells you to do it before, during, and after. So, parang assessment lang siya. Okay? You have to check lang kung saan ka dyan. So, copy and answer. In our learning test 5, create a poster on what to do before, during, and after an earthquake to help disseminate information in your community. Check the, check the criteria below to be familiar on how you will be rated. Use an Oslo paper in making the poster. Kung wala kayong Oslo, pwede na yung mga ordinary band paper, ganon. And yun, meron po tayong criteria, relevance to the topic, 40%, creativity and presentation, 30%, originality, 30%. Ibig sabihin ng originality, hindi mo siya ginagaya sa kahit saan na Google. Yun po. Sarili mo lang. <laughs> yun, so you should follow the criteria. In our learning test 6, make an evacuation plan. Draw a simple map on your home. Mark the exit and trace a part that can reach the exit of the shortest possible time. Do this in your band paper. The scoring rubric below will be used in assessing your evacuation plan. So, ito po yung ating rubrics na susundan nyo if you want a uh, 4 
point, sundan nyo lang ang very satisfactory. So, in our content, in sa four points natin, there are signs, clear, map, and markings on the evacuation plan. And the labels, four labels on exit, trace paths, and parts of the house are presented in the plan. And netness, uh, the, uh, the evacuation plan is organized and properly labeled. Ibig sabihin, malinis and maganda tingnan. Gaya na. So, in our, um, to sum up of this lesson, so remember that being ready before during and after of an earthquake or volcanic eruption is must. Kailangan talaga prepared tayo. Being prepared will save lives and keep people away from danger. Nakakatulong tayo sa sarili natin, sa pamilya natin, isave natin sila. Kung after na natin ma-save sila, kung kaya mong tumulong, wala nung ahin no, bata pa kayo eh. So, he, then focus mo na kayo sa sarili nyo, then sa family nyo. Okay? Kung meron namang talagang gusto nyo tumulong, isus, nasa inyo yun. Do it para for our humanity. <laughs> and then, brought by this natural phenomenon, safety precautions should be observed to help lessen its destructive effects to people and property. Sa kakasira talaga siya ng mga ari-arian. In our learning test 7, make an interview with parents and siblings on how they prepared before, during, and after an earthquake or volcanic eruption. List down on your answers and their plans. Interview mo, parents mo, or mga kapatid mo, kung ano yan, yung, ano yung mga plano nila kapag before, during, after, saka sa lindol, at saka sa pagsabog ng vulkan. For our assessment, um, in learning test 8, direction, read the statement carefully, then write through if the statement is correct and false if the sta statement is wrong. There are 7 items, and then, Choose the letter of the best answer on each. Write in on your answer sheet. So, yun po. Letter. So, that's all for today, guys. And thank you for listening. And thank you for watching. Sana ay meron kayong natutunan sa ating lesson. And then, if you have a comment, suggestion, recommendation, suggest, and anything, uh, leave that in our comment section. If you want the soft copy of our leap and the key answer, please check my description box and then request, please do request access for my soft copy leap. Okay? Thank you and God bless at mabuhay po tayo lahat. See you on week 3. Bye-bye!